Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. What's your I am your host, Selassie Fiawe. Today we're going to talk about Kudus Mohammed and the praises being heaped on him by his coach of Ajax. His coach of Ajax has heaped praises on him and has given some insight into how he has been using Kudus this preseason. That has made him uh, score some three goals so far. We'll hear from what the coach had to say. We're also going to talk about Toado, who has talked about the need to integrate the players who have Swiss nationalities into the team. He's keen to do that and has laid out how he intends to do that as well. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. Uh, tonight, the Commonwealth Games begin and it's our sports channel uh, needs your numbers uh, to watch the Commonwealth Games SF's news from that end. Subscribe uh, to our sports channel, SF Sports. Link, first comment pinned here. Without much ado, let's get right into it. And I'll start off from the camp of Kudus Mohammed, who has been in scintillating form in preseason. 114 minutes played with three goals. Kudus Mohammed is currently enjoying life at Ajax. He is playing in a more advanced role, and the coach of Ajax has heaped praise on him, saying that Kudus has been deployed, as we all suspected it, in more of a striking role and on the right wing. He was speaking after their latest friendly in preseason about Kudus and how he will be playing for them this season. The Ajax manager has praised the versatility of Ghanaian midfielder Kudus Mohamed in preseason. The Black Stars ace has flourished in different positions under uh, the new manager scoring three goals in three games as a number nine and now Schroeder has uh, played a former Nordland player as a winger and center forward and believes the attacking midfielder could be an option for those positions in the future and now he said we sh we have also used him a lot in training as a striker and as a right winger he does that very well he plays on intuition which makes him very difficult for opponents to defend he is strong fast and agile good impression he told ajax tv i don't i don't just do things uh, there's a real idea behind this kudus as a number seven or nine is a long-term option kudus mohammed netted a left line yeah one one draw versus Cas upen uh, before scoring in Scoring a header in a 3-2 win over Red Bull Salzburg, Kudus scored in a 3-1 thrashing of Shakhtar Donetsk on Tuesday night as well. So uh, the coach knows what he's doing. Kud Kudus is unpredictable, he is strong, and that makes him a difficult person for teams to defend against. Something the Black Star should be considering, he's been used at the right wing and in centre forward. Could he be able to to do that with a national team well his club side is flourishing with him playing there kudus is the future great player enjoying his form currently hopefully he stays fit 100 percent fit and he's able to play a big part for ajax this season last season was played with injuries that did not help him develop his game and develop to see him more in action he got back found a couple of assists for ajax but ultimately it was a bit powerful for him as he had injury woes that kept him out for a longer period. It's similar to what happened in his first season with Ajax in the Champions League where he got injured in his Champions League debut. It's unfortunate that happened to him but this season it looks like looking forward to the World Cup and everything we have a player who is unsung currently. Talking about the World Cup and talking about the Black Stars, Coach Otuado has said and that he is eager to integrate players into the national team and uh, he is hoping to do that quite soon now ghana announced uh, that they will play with switzerland a week before the world cup opener versus portugal and otoado is keen to integrate the dual nationality players in his squad as he wants them to be familiar with the team ahead of the world cup and now five players switch nationalities, including Brighton and Hove Albion player Tariq Lamte, uh, Nyake Williams of Atletico Bilbao, uh, German-born player Stephen Ambrosius, uh, Patrick Pfeiffer, and Ko Gaffa Ransford Yabwa. 
the Ghana Football Association has been on a hunting spree to convince players. Now, opinions have been divided over the pursuit of these players, but the truth is, Ghana needs quality and depth in squad, and Otuado is open to have all that done. He was born in Germany himself to Ghanaian parents, but opted to play for, Je for Ghana before winning 15 caps between 1999 and 2006. He laid out a marker for new players. And now being born in Germany, maybe I can even understand more of that thinking. Uh, we want those who play, decided to play for Ghana to get familiar with the team and the staff. So everybody who wants to join has to join now and they know exactly what they are going to do. Uh, Ghana will be at its fourth World Cup uh, after outing Nigeria. Uh, group H opener will start with uh, Portugal, followed by South Korea and then Uruguay. Looking at that uh, game that happened in 2010, 12 years ago, it will be interesting to see how things go. But quite clearly, Otuado wants to integrate them. And anyone who probably wants to join the Black Stars because they are going to the World Cup will have to join now. September, there will be international break where we'll have some African Cup of Nations qualifiers being played. Yeah, the rumors arrived that they have been cancelled but till now yesterday the ghana football association released a statement on the friendly they did not mention that the qualifiers had been cancelled i choose uh, to tread on that cautiously probably it is still going to come on probably it has been cancelled but cap themselves have not announced that they have not announced that officially fa has not brought that communication to us and the last interview that a communication director had he said as things stand, the qualifiers will go on until we get a confirmation on that front. There will be rumors rife that it's said to be cancelled. Some say it has been cancelled. I for one cannot report emphatically that it has been cancelled. But Otuado is keen to integrate these players into the national team and it is going to be interesting to see how he does that. My next final story has to do with Matthew Enim Kujo, uh, who is currently uh, with Dandy United. His manager insists that he is part of his plans for the season. If you remember Matthew Enim Kujo, player who dazzled for Kumasi Asante Kotoko short spell, the Porcupine Warriors could not retain him. He was sold out to Legon Cities and now currently with Dandy United. The coach has said that Matthew has had a really strong preseason. He's taking his chances when they came along. He has done really well in the games he played since I came in. Matthew has the ability to eliminate people. He takes people on and wants to score goals. So I have been delighted with him. All you can do as an 18 year old is to take the opportunity when it comes. And he's done that. He's with us. He trained this morning with us and is embracing the opportunity he had with us. And so I don't know where it came from because he's a very good part of our squad. Speaking about rumors of him leaving. He joined them last season, making a handful of appearances for the Tangerine. So Matthew and Yinkuju there, uh, hoping uh, for a great season with Dandy United. So that has been it for today. Kudus Mohamed's coach, full of praise for him. A versatile young man who has been playing more advanced in striking and on the right wing. He has been flourishing because he's unpredictable and very strong. Also, Otoado is keen to integrate the new players and Dandy United coach says, Matthew and Ian Kujo is part of his plans for the season. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the week.